feel very strange having the Emmerdale music as it comes into it the It does, it's lovely. Studio. I immediately feel a bit chilly, though, because it's always cold on There's the Emmerdale set, I'm told. There's an Emmerdale the wind that's coming and through. And it was chilly last night. A double dose of explosive drama in Emmerdale. Katie confronted Robert over his affair with Aaron, but she rapidly met her demise. Ryan Hawley, who plays Robert, will be here. Oh, well, he is here. We're going to be talking to him in just a moment. Yeah, of course, uh, Ryan is one of four actors to have played the character over the years. So, shall we have a look back at Robert's life growing up in the Dales? It's been that day. Happy Christmas, Robert. <sighs> Let's play football. It's not too late to back out. That's all you can say to me. Congratulations. Cheers. Can I kiss the bride? Hey, I don't blame you. She's gorgeous, isn't she? And you, Katie. I'm getting married today. When are you going to get it through your head? Well, this is a surprise. This is your last chance, okay? I'm leaving. I'm going anywhere. Ah! Oh, it's oh. brilliant. Ryan Hawley <gasps> is here with us now. So, look, wait, I'm I mean, staying back from you. There's, yeah. there's, a, there's a number <laughs> of things we. Uh, let's talk quickly talk about the situation because he's, he's just, he's, he just killed Katie. He has. Um, there's no way getting around that. It's, um, <laughs> it's quite a, a peculiar situation because he's turned up and he, he hasn't had the intention that he's going to kill Katie or, or, or have anything to do with her. He's there to see Aaron and this has just kind of all come as a surprise to him. And Katie um, had the incriminating picture, didn't she, on her phone? She got, the, she got all the evidence that she's been looking for yeah. in, in the build-up to all of this and, and, you know, that's the moment when everything kind of changes and she has the power and, and Robert has to get her on side. So he's seen her off. But mm. Literally. A scene yeah. of literally, yeah. Um, <laughs> but what about that picture? I've got a funny feeling. Is that going to emerge? Has he got the phone? Has he destroyed it? Well, Is he, that out there? As you see, he's got the phone and he's, he's deleted the picture at the end, towards the end of the episode. Oh. And, um, and now he just needs to get Aaron to come and, and he needs help. He's, he's desperate. He's, he's got to go to his wedding. He's, he's, his his brother-in-law's... His brother's um, wife has just, has just died. And uh, so, you know, there's a, it's a lot going on. It's a chaotic situation for him. Just, just one thing, of course. We're all aware that the iCloud exists now, so deleting the photo doesn't necessarily mean it's no, deleted. No, no. Well, there's a can come back for writers, <laughs> if they're watching, see, remember yeah, that. I, I'm not going to say that Robert's going to come out of this unscathed one way or the other, um, but, you know, it's, it's certainly going to lead into some stuff that we've got coming out next week, and, and certainly tonight's episode is going to be uh, very telling. Well, look, we've got a little clip oh. as well of tonight's episode, so we can build the tension. Let's have a look at this clip and we talk afterwards. She's my mum's best mate. She's your sister-in-law. Anything that's going to matter when the police get involved. Will you stop thinking about yourself for one second? Hey, it's not just me you could go to prison here, Aaron. Yeah, well, thanks for bringing me back to that. Right, I panicked, OK? I'm sorry. Anyway, it's like you said, it, it was an accident. We didn't do anything wrong. You think they'll listen to that? Oh. Will they? Oh, my goodness. So that's to come tonight. That's tonight, yeah. And this is a great, meaty, brilliant storyline to be in, because you've been there for, what, a year now? Is it nearly a year? No, um, myself playing the part. I've only been there for about four or five months. Ah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I mean, I, I was I'm incredibly blessed and privileged to come in and, and be given all this trust to, to take on a storyline like this. And uh, yeah, I was reading that your family are big fans of, yeah, of yeah, the soap, so you ne you didn't tell anyone really because you were a bit sort of nervous about. Them oh no, out. I was I was very kind of like you know if, if anyone knows about it there'll be there'll be a lot of pressure and I didn't really want to have to deal with all that kind of thing. So what was their reaction when eventually it came out that you were in their favourite soap? I think the first person I told was my granddad, and he, um, yeah, I just remember his broad, broad grin on his face, and, uh, you know, he was, he was over the moon, and he was delighted, and, you know, he was very proud. Uh, unfortunately, my nanan passed away, uh, two, on, my, on the other side of my family, uh, passed away two weeks just before uh, I came on screen, so I never really got to tell her, but... And she, what, they were, they were religious watchers of Emma Yeah, she watched well. the first, first episode, no. yeah. Oh, mm. that's so just awesome. Nice. As Kate was saying, you're, you're one of four actors who played the character, yeah. and we saw some of them across the years. Is it what? What are the challenges of inheriting a character that's been played by another actor? Well, yeah, it is. Um, it is quite challenging, and it is kind of um, kind of different to any well other acting jobs you might get. But apart it, from Doctor Who, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah maybe he goes Doctor through Who. that a lot, but doesn't I, he? I was, I, was, I was saying before, um, you know, I, was, I, I looked once briefly on, on the internet, and I saw that there was like a hundred different characters in soaps that had been recast. Wow. So it's not that uncommon. No. It's um, but yeah, coming in and, and fulfilling expectations is something I was kind of conscious of, and um, and yeah. So, uh, but you just have to kind of 
you know, go with it. I love it, and I think I think so. The other thing that's that's exciting is it does because you've been given a really strong mm. storyline as mm. well straight away. Mm. There's no worry. This is the new incarnation of Robert, yeah. and that's it, and it's committed. And and the complication and and the whatever's going to happen just makes it all more gripping for the viewers. As well. Yeah, and he's been away as well for for quite a long mm. long period of time, so it's feasible that he he's he's developed somewhat in his personality, and he's um, you know, and and that kind of helped I think as yeah. well. Yeah. Well, well, we're loving you doing it. We're absolutely oh, loving you. Yeah, Brian, thanks brilliant. so much for coming in. Thank Best of luck with me. the storyline as well. We will be watching, of course. Thank and I'll tell you what, we've got Daddy Miller, who plays Aaron Lidl, of course, on the show on Monday. Yeah.